Hey guys, happy Splasher here. Good morning. So right now we're going to continue with the world event. So yeah, let's keep going. Currently we're on this quest here to defeat none. So we'll hit the go. And then we do have a battle. And they do have a skill. So whenever the enemy is attacked, they will deal damage to their adjacent enemies. What's your business with that crook Ming? The owner of the magic goods shop? I don't do business with her. Liar! You were just in her shop with her, your dragon. Here it is. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the buildings. And we'll attack on the open lane A. This is a symbol of belonging to the Golden Dragon Temple. Every novice has one. But I left the temple because of my disagreements with Master Tai Ling. She must have sent one of her helpers. Tai Ling became a master? It all makes sense now. During my first campaign against the sisters, her temple was destroyed and the Lama died. She already tried to stop me once, and now she has contacted the Eternal Sun. After all, only a Amaterasu can summon Nyang. This is all true. <laughs> okay, so that was none. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we have another ad over here. All right, we have the next quest is activate Epic Obelisk in place of power three times. We'll hit the go. And this brings us to the place of power. As you can see, we have leveled up the obelisk. And so the rewards are now increased. We'll activate this three times by doing the Epic Obelisk over here. And we'll also skip the animation. Epic. And as you can see, we are now complete with that quest. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we have the next set of quests here up top. Open 10 chests for victory over other players. Behind that, we have find 900 souls of epic heroes. On the bottom here, we have performed demigods, gods of war, or miracle summons two times. We'll start with this quest up top. So open 10 chests for victory over other players. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the league. We do have a couple of chests available over here. And as you see, as we open one, it does count for this quest. We are a little short right now, so we'll have to do those offline. And so we will see you guys later. All right, guys, we are back. Currently, we're on this quest. Open 10 chests for victory over other players. We have done that offline, and so we will now continue. Okay, we have this next quest here. Find 900 souls of epic heroes. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the summon hall. What I'll do is actually head out of here and then also head out of the roadmap. And first let's check our mighty pass, see if we have any epic chests still remaining. And we have a few, but not quite enough. So what we'll do is we'll head out. I'll head over to the league next, see if I have an epic chest, which I do. Let's open this one up, see how many souls we can get. Epic. And just enough in order to actually get that finished. So that is good. We'll head back to the roadmap. And then we'll do this bottom quest down here to get as many runes as we can. This one is performed demigods, gods of war, or miracle summons two times. We'll hit the go. And this brings us back to the summon hall. We'll use two demigod scrolls in order to get this done. So here's number one. Epic. And here is number two. Epic. Okay, so that is good. We will now head back to the roadmap and grab both rewards. Okay, we have this next quest here. Defeat uh, Leotard? Leotard? Anyways, yeah, let's hit the go. And this brings us to a battle. And it looks like they do have a skill, so whenever an enemy appears, they will get blocked to a random ally. Greetings, Leotard. Lord Protector, why have I been so unceremoniously delivered to your castle? I shall complain. Complain indeed. Okay, let's take a look at the buildings. And we'll attack on the open lane D. I was only looking for Griffius. He's the only one who can help deal with Nyang and the Eternal Sun Clan. I don't know where Griffius is. I'm not his secretary. He's buried himself in ancient oriental manuscripts about Nyang, I guess. So you know what threatens Pangea. Help me with something, and I'll make it worth your while. Not Pangea, you. But I will help. I don't want any trouble with the Lord Protector. Yay bribes. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so that was Lava Tart. Head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, it looks like we have a quest already completed and also this ad. Let's take a look at what we have here. So up top, we had Soulbind the event rares five times. Behind that, we have Boost Legendary Heroes four times. On the bottom here, we have find 1,400 souls of the event epics. We'll start with this one up here. So this one is Soulbind the event epics. Uh, event rares five times which we have already done because we do have these heroes from before so we will now continue okay this next quest here boosts legendary heroes four times we'll hit the go and this brings us over to the squad what we'll do is actually close this out close this out as well and we'll head over to the guild we'll then go to the bonuses and we'll activate this bonus for one one day here this masterful enchantment will lower the cost of boost and then we'll head back to the squad and we'll boost any legendary heroes four times so in this case we'll filter for those we'll actually then use this one here and we don't want to boost the same one over and over because it does cost more dust so in this case we'll just top around for a bit okay so this is number three and finally, number four. Okay, so we are now complete with that. We'll head back to the roadmap and then look at the other quest down here. This one is find 1400 souls of the event epics. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the summon hall. We'll close out of this, close out of that, head back to the guild, then activate a bonus over here. This one is the self perfection and it'll lower the cost of evolve. And then we'll head over to our squad because we can then filter next for rares and then potentially the event ones as well and then we will evolve them so in this case this novice can evolve into the epic version of tiling dragon dance and as you can see it does count for this quest and so we are now complete i want to grab something here okay and we will now grab both rewards as a result Okay, we have this next quest here, Defeat Ming. So we'll hit the go, and this brings us to a battle. And they do have a skill, so at the end of the turn, we'll give Mental Shield to a random ally. Madam Ming, it was hard to find you. Are you going to tell me who convinced you to do this lantern trick? I won't tell you anything. You sicked the griffin on me, and now you're threatening me yourself. Ooh, deadly. Okay, let's take a look at the buildings. And we'll attack on the open lane D. All right, all right, I'll tell you. Why do you have to wave your sword around like that? Tai Ling and her novice Wei. Wei explained how to enchant the lanterns and took the second part of the scroll with the legend of Nyang. How did you get the scroll? It was considered lost. I am a member of the Eternal Sun Clan, Lord Protector. Nothing is impossible for us. Optimism. Okay, well, that was Ming. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we have another ad. <laughs> All right, we have our next set of quests here. Up top is spend 1,700 copper coins. Behind that, we have Soulbind the event epics five times. On the bottom here, we have spend 7,500 runes. We're going to hold off on spending runes because we do need them for chapter three. So in this case, we'll do this quest up top here. This one is spend 1,700 copper coins. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the black market. We do need to do a little bit of spending. So in this case, I want to use some of this. I know this hero is actually pretty good, but let's just take a look at what we're needing. We're going to need to save our copper coins for later, so we're just going to spend on the bare minimum. So we'll spend 1,000 here. We can spend 400 here. And then we'll spend also another 400 here just to get some more legendaries instead of epics. As you can see, we are now complete with the quest. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we have this next quest already completed. This one is Soulbind the Event Epics five times. We did have these heroes from before, similar to the other Soulbind quest. So yeah, we will now continue. Okay, we have our next quest here, Defeat Wei. We'll hit the go. And this brings us to a battle. 
And they do have a skill, so whenever the enemy is attacked, we'll deal damage to their adjacent enemies. I've been waiting for you to show up, Lord Protector. It's time to find out what lies ahead for you. I already knew that Amaterasu and Tai Ling summoned Niang and enchanted the lanterns in my castle. But I didn't come to you to talk. I came from the scroll. I suggest that you give it to me voluntarily. No? That's what I thought. Just give us the scroll! Okay, let's take a look at the buildings. And we have this hero, this soul blade, that summons an archer behind themselves. We'll attack on the open lane B. Whoa! To the lower world with you, you destroyed the scroll! The power of gods and rulers must be controlled. You have gained too much strength, Lord Protector. You interfere in the affairs of the planes in the balance of worlds. The Golden Dragon has finally found the Eternal Sun to fix this. If only it were so easy. Okay, so that was way. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, we have our next set of quests here. We have up top, collect resources and gold mine three times. Behind that, reborn the event epics five times. On the bottom here, so we have spend 500 gems. We'll do this quest up top first. This one is collect resources and gold mine three times. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to gold mine. We will need to do gold mine a couple of times, and each one of the attempts costs a little bit of time afterwards. So in this case, we'll do these offline, and we will see you guys later. All right, guys, we are back. Currently, we're on this quest here, collect resources and gold mine three times. We have done that offline, and so we will now continue. All right, we have another ad. Okay. We have this quest here, Reborn the Event Epics five times. As you can see, we have this one, <clears throat> excuse me, we have this one done already because we had these heroes from before. So we'll do this bottom quest down here. This one is spend 500 gems. As you can see, we have a little bit of gems already spent. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the summon hall. What I'll do is actually close this out and then we'll head out of here. We'll head over to the legendary draft and then we'll just spend some gems. As you can see, we do have the ability to do so. And it does count for this quest, and so we will have that quest complete. We're going to do the Legendary Draft offline, so for the time being, we'll head back to the roadmap and grab both rewards. Okay, we have this next quest here. Get two Legendary Heroes in Summon Orange Chest. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the League. What we'll do is open up these two chests because they do count for the quest. Let me see if we also have anything else. Heading around to the Mighty Pass... We do have these other chests over here, but we need some more points, which we don't have. So in this case, as mentioned, we'll head over to the League. We'll open up this League 5 chest. Legendary. And it doesn't number matter the number of heroes, the number of souls in the chest, rather. But as long as you open one of these chests, it is fine. This season chest also does count too, but it will be too long before that happens. So we'll open up this number 2. Legendary. And as you can see, we are now complete. So we'll head back to the roadmap and continue. All right, we're on the final quest of Chapter 2. This is Defeat Helper. We'll hit the go. And this brings us to a battle. And they do have two skills. So whenever an enemy appears, they'll get blocked to a random ally. And then whenever an ally is attacked, we'll get an attack boost to him or her. Lord Protector, I managed to find Griffius. He is still looking for a solution in the ancient manuscripts. He'll have to look faster. I'm about to be eaten by a mythical creature. Is it Joan of the Whale? <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the buildings. And we have this love goddess over here with some health pentagram, or actually health heal, and then also some damage pentagrams, attack pentagrams rather. We'll go with the Fury here on A3 with some extra attacks. Griffius advised to calm down and wait, Lord Protector, and I have to fly away. The monster is close. I'm not going to just sit and wait. I will find out what the destroyed scroll said and prepare for battle. Preparations are good. All right, so that was Helper. We'll head back to the roadmap and whoops and continue. All right, here is the biography and slash end cart for chapter two. So Griffius the Celestial. Griffius the Celestial was once a revered guardian of knowledge and wisdom. 
But he too once committed a reckless act. Order is merciless to offenders, even if they dwell in the higher world. Griffius was severely punished and might have been stripped of his wings, had it not been for the help of the Lord Protector. Now the griffin lives a secluded life and does not welcome guests from the past. Hmm. Lonely. Alright, so we'll grab our rewards. And now we'll start chapter 3. So chapter 3, Way of Humility. Amaterasu helps martial artist, martial arts master Tai Ling settle an old score with the Lord Protector. Together, they summon the monster and destroy the scroll that describes how to defeat it. However, the Lord Protector has also found a helper in the wise griffin Griffius, whose advice will save him at the very last moment. Okay, so here are the rewards for Chapter 3. We'll be able to get 1k copies of Tai Ling Dragon Dance, along with some Miracle Scrolls, a medal, and then also a gallery portrait. So yeah, let's hop into the adventure. So at this point, we will stop and then we'll continue on for chapter three later. This is Happy Splasher, signing off.